Marriage is a sacred commitment between two people. In Christian culture, it is an oath between a couple and God where a groom and his wife become one union. As a student at a Christian school like Louisiana College, you may find that multiple classmates all around you are committing to the lifelong journey that is marriage. What draws people to get married young? Is there a secret formula between balancing marriage and schoolwork? Or is marriage just the natural next step in a young person's life once they find the one? I spoke with LC students and newlyweds, Christopher and Taylor Doyle about their journey getting married in college. I think it is much easier to balance college and marriage than college and dating for, yeah. for us. Um, I'm not saying it would, you know, I'm not trying to speak for everybody, but to be able to go home together and exactly. you don't have to like, before you have to plan dates, you have to make time to see them, but now you live together, like you do life together and every way possible so it's easier to have a relationship with that person because it's built in. The Doyle said that while the transition from students to man and wife may be hard for some people, it was not a difficult transition for them at all. Everything that needed to line up lined up and then our dating period was just making sure every all the last things aligned and just everything that you would hope for um, or that you would want to you know, make sure about and choosing a spouse was good. Like, it was all green flags. Christopher and Taylor met in Hattie B's, the cafeteria at LC. They were friends for over a year before dating even crossed their minds. The two say they started dating with marriage on their minds and in their hearts because they knew that this was the direction their journey was taking them. The pair started dating on September 26th and tied the knot three months later on December 26th this past year. When you know, you know. Christopher gives this advice to young couples who may have marriage in their future. We're young, we're still learning, we're still growing. Have patience, show your partner love and respect, you know. They might be in a different mood or feeling some type of way today. And you got to be that understanding person that they need to bring them back to who they are because you know who you married. While the Doyle's marriage process was shorter than the average couple's, Taylor says that the best thing for couples who are considering marriage is to take their time and make sure that they are doing it right. Don't call me a hypocrite. I didn't say take a long time. That might be a good idea. Take your time that y'all need to get to the point where you know that you know that you know. Don't rush into it out of fear, you know, because you want to jump headlong into that sense of security or don't do it, don't do it for a partial reason. Um, like, find out everything you need to know, ask any questions you need to know, make sure that you are like-minded in every way and that you're aligned um, in who you are as people and your goals and what you want in life and what you want to do and what you want your daily life to look like and your 10-year plan to look like um, and make sure not just that you feel love for them but that you're prepared to choose to love them no matter how you feel. The stigma around getting married young and especially in college is something that the Doyles disagree with. They say that life will be busy at any stage in a person's life, so as long as the couple can handle work, whether that be school or a job, the confines of marriage on a college campus should not be the thing that holds young couples back. Either way, you're going to be doing things that aren't directly marriage related. It's just, are you going to be married and be a student or be married and be an employee? Either way, you're, there's going to be, you're going to have a, have a life, quote unquote, outside of um, your marriage. So it's not so much a, okay, I'm done with college, this is the magic time to get married. It's are you prepared to be in college and be married? Is this the right time for y'all? Or do you view college as a time to be young, dumb, and free, and maybe you should wait because of what you want to do with your time there or your mentality? Um, but it's not a given that it will be difficult, more difficult in college than after college. It just, it depends on the person. Reporting for Wildcats Media News, I'm Kylie Cornelison.